<laughs> Good morning. It's a nice morning out there. If you're new around here, we are Graham, Michelle, Maximus and Freya. In April 2022, we went to see a 17-seater minibus. After stripping out all the seats, we built our very own roof extension, cast our own side flares. We've still got a lot to do in the van. And although he's not finished yet, he's definitely very usable. Our videos have been all about the build up until a few weeks ago when everything changed. He's loaded up, but of a different kind. It's time to go. Shell's just taken a coffee down to sit and watch the reservoir with Maximus and I'm just sat having my coffee doing some data transfer. Mm. I've just edited an aerial pano from over last night's park up. Spin that around. Show you on screen. There you go. So we parked about here in this woodland area just on the corner and Shell's sat about here now drinking a coffee but yeah it was glorious golden hour last night and then we had our first incident really um, for those who want to know what that is I'll put in the description below I'm not going to talk about it in the video only to, to mention it um, but yeah it took a little while to calm down but as I say I'll put some details in the description for those that are interested those that are not it makes no never mind at all it wasn't van related or major drama it's just an, a normal incident for us in life but we get up today and we move on and today's a new day um we did talk about going home last night just because of the incident and situation but we've decided that we're probably going to go uh, we're on night six off grid now so we've done amazingly, really. I mean, the van's done awesome. Uh, the Roma battery hasn't dropped below 80%, and it's, that's been used in the immersion for the water, um, the induction for cooking. We've got two holes. We've got a gas and an induction, so Shell has to cook two different teas at times because uh, Maximus won't. He'll, he'll only eat specific things on specific days, and it has to be exactly what he wants, so... He's not very flexible in that way. Um, so Shell has to cook his tea and then cook our tea, which obviously means we are using more gas and more electric. On the overcast days, I have been just flicking the solar off. So 50 amps straight from the engine is going back into the battery. And we're driving probably at least a minimum of an hour a day. So there's, there's 50 amp going back in there, sometimes a couple of hours because he likes to drive to a spot and then drive again he's always like driving and that's another reason why we got the van because we can just contain everything and move and find somewhere to park up this park up was amazing just glorious views all around up into the fields there which were casting golden light last night and then over onto the reservoir and back up onto the farm just spectacular stuff really we're gonna to have to pack up he can't throw stones this morning it looks like the fishermen are all here this morning they weren't here last night so he wants to throw stones in in the river again and he wants to get in the river he's got sensory um <clears throat> the, the cold water he loves it he loves just sitting in the cold water and it's it's a sensory thing for him at home he will just have when it's when it's when he feels the need he'll sit in a cold bath and i mean I know people talk about the benefits of cold water and people only stay in for a few minutes, but he'll, he loves just sitting in cold water for, you know, an hour and just chilling out. Anyway, we're going to move on today. Uh, we're going to put the incident away and we're going to carry on. And like I say, so far it's been awesome. I mean, I, I'm just in the middle of changing the van around from day to night, so... I still just need to make our bed because I made it once and he decided to get back in it. Um, I've got stuff up on his bed for now and there's stuff hanging and just airing whilst the uh, the door's open. But yeah, that 460 amp hour Roma battery I'm using, I, it, it got a bit nippy last night and I thought about putting the heater on and we've only got a electric heater um, because I've not fitted the diesel heater yet, just didn't have time. Um, but 
with with the way it's going i could use that heater and it would heat the van up in two minutes and then just put it on thermostat control and it it just it would tick away and it would use barely nothing out of that battery don't get me wrong if you only had you know a hundred amp or 200 amp of lead and you only had 100 amp available to you all these things would just eat your battery but with this lithium iron roma battery um just just powers on through the induction hob the immersion heater the heater uh we could basically run the van off all electric that's the morning update i'm just doing a bit of transfer and just messing with photos that i took on the drone last night the shell shell's back now it's a cone it's a perfect fine cone. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, is he on his tablet now? Yeah. Is Robot still there? Robot's over there. I said we just had an incident last night, but I'll just put about it in there. We won't talk about it in here, so... No, no. No. Seems to be calm this morning, though. All seems calm this morning, apart from my hair, <laughs> which is very... And your beardy face. Oh, yeah, my beardy face. I missed I missed my Sunday shave, so he said I've got to wait till next Sunday. <laughs> and I just don't need the aggro of having a shave as well as the other stuff. So, anyway, we're going to move soon, so we're going to carry on packing up the van. The next series of events is probably going to come across a bit chaotic. We went down into Walsingham trying to get Maximus an emergency prescription. We'd been waiting to set off till his prescription arrived. We'd, we'd waited and waited and waited and couldn't wait any longer because someone was ticking away and we wanted to get away in the van. We then waited till it arrived at home and then asked for it to be transferred to a chemist of our choosing, being away. And they said they can't do that because it's not come from the spine, it's come on a paper prescription. So we then had to ring all the hay. Uh, all the hay, after hours, turned around and said they can't issue it digitally. So we then had to ring our own doctor and get a digital prescription issued. All of this meant that we spent several hours of the day just trying to fight to get meds that should just be there on time for Maximus. We eventually got them, then we had to go back down to Crook. We tried to get them in Walsingham, but ended up going back down to Crook. And since we were in Crook, we made use of the facility of the laundrette. Shell's laughing at me. He's got his Magnum PI shorts on. We're still in. Well, we've had to come back to Crook because we thought we were going to a campsite with a washing machine. We thought we'd have been there by now. Got a load of washing on and get it done. But we've had to go to a laundry in Crook, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's no wonder people think I'm mad. I've just been running through the streets of Crook in this wonderful outfit. You can't really see Shell's camera. It's not really wide. There we go. Swim shorts, black t-shirt. I literally, the lady in the in the laundrette turned around and said she could do a, a service wash, but we'd have to get it there in the next few minutes because they close at four. So I ran back. I basically had four new pairs of shorts to wear. Um, but for some reason, the sizes weren't the same as they've always been before from Aldi. So I was... Uh, I was without shorts, uh, apart from one pair of pair of jeans and a pair of swim shorts. So I've had to put uh, the swim shorts on because it's all well and good being able to do um, bits and bobs to be able to do a full wash. You obviously need a laundrette. 20 pound for a service wash, is that normal? Let us know in the comments. I don't know, I've not used a laundrette for forever really. I've always, you know, washed myself in the campsite that we were booking onto tonight to wash. There's no longer got washing facilities, so we may as well not book onto the campsite. Thankfully, we've got it in. Uh, the, the doctor is gonna send it digitally as an emergency. But yeah, what a nightmare. The things I do for that boy, you told me I can't have an haircut. I missed my shave on Sunday because we were on our way. And um, I'm running through the streets of Crook dressed like a madman. Like I'm on some kind of sponsored event. 
but yeah he's got it we think obviously he was two days without waiting for all this to happen and waiting for the script to come through at home thinking we could get it sent across to wherever we were but they can't do that because it's still hand delivered and not digital so we uh We've got sorted out for at least the days we think we're going to be away now. So we eventually got the meds. I think it was about six and a half, seven hours in total of waiting around, phone calls, back and forth. So we left Crook, we stopped at Little on the way because obviously it was late now. We had a bag of half dry washing. We couldn't be bothered cooking. So we grabbed some uh, tea from Little and drove to find somewhere to have a picnic and let Maximus decompress because it was a... Uh, it was a long day. So six and a half hours, seven hours for what should have been a two minute thing sorting out prescription, but it's what you just have to go through, isn't it? Yep, just another thing. Just another fight to have to get the Anything things that we need. need. Here we go, there's a little stony yeah. outcrop down here. Pretty. Someone's happy. <laughs> He's finally got his water. A lovely spot this, we've just had a little picnic. It's quite fast here, but this bit here is just nice and shallow. As it comes over here, it breaks and gets faster, but even there, it's still shallow. But it's a lovely little spot, that little babbling uh, side brook there splits off by the bridge and comes around this little island and I think that's an island as well but yeah the bridge is lovely and people keep staring at us like we're crazy because he's sat in the freezing cold water but as I was trying to explain before he has a sensory needs for water This is just a little lay-by phrase, had some tea. Obviously we've done the washing. We got some signs printed since people kept asking us and I did them dead quick the other morning. We were by a princess in a little village, so I did them dead quick. Didn't double check and I missed the S off traveling tailors, so I've had to draw it on with a Sharpie. Sounds about right, doesn't it? All manic. Uh, you've just had your tea, what are you eating grass for? And I wouldn't mind this little park up off this road. There's a bin right there and I've still had to litter pick, but I picked up the big stuff and put it in the bin. There's a bin right there. I don't know why, I don't know why folk can't just get out and make it to the bin. I'm still walking around like a madman. This is my outfit. Maximus and I were twins. Hello, boy. Are you watching Peppa Pig? Yeah. Oh. As, as, as he broke down? Let's check on that. Mr. Fox? Oh, no. No petrol. Did you go in the water? Yeah. Did you sit in it? Yeah. For ages? In the deep. In the deep, yeah. The realities of van life, eh? Where are you, Widow? Widow Twanky? I've got my head very deep in the washing. So a sit rep on our day so far. Uh, we were We were six and a half, seven hours sorting that prescription out for 36 tablets, 12 days worth. Um, but we got it sorted out and we needed it sorted out, uh, as I've said. Um, but we also got the wash done, but she could only get so much dry because she shut it for. So she dried a little bit of Mike Smith's stuff, um, but the rest of it has to be dried. So I'm now gonna drive with the Max Air fan on, foot closed, um, and the heating on in the front. Uh, because we, we haven't got anywhere today. We've basically just driven through. Let the noisy people go past. So we've basically just driven through the little town where we stopped over last night up at the reservoir. <laughs> we've done a full circle to get Maximus's stuff and come back basically. But we had a nice picnic by the river in Wittenly Weir or Witten on Weir? Wittenly Weir, uh, where you saw Maximus in the water and he's a lot more chilled out now that he's had his uh, sensory 
Needs, needs met his sensory dunk in a river in freezing cold water and he just chilled out sat in there throwing stones for half an hour let his crop go down so I had to go chasing that down the river ended up being a shoes off job and into the middle to get that back some fella came back and, I, and said to Shell as he went past I always knew there was crocs in this river chuckling away he was chuckling away was he and then you were trying to ring me weren't you to make sure I wasn't uh yeah. Sunk. Yeah. Quite fast flowing now, isn't it? And, and I couldn't find Freya either. Well, Freya had followed me. She'd run after me. So I did say to Freya, Freya, go on, get it, get it, get it. And she went in to try and get it, put her mouth around it, had one go and then gave up, came back out and looked at me. And that's when I had to take my shoes and socks off and get in myself. Luckily, I'm long-legged and I managed to wade all the way through with only the bottom of my shorts going and unluckily, Shell wasn't about with the camera to film it and I wasn't. I don't think I'd stay. And I wasn't going to be filming, trying to get in the river, so... Anyway, we'll finish hanging the washing up and then we'll get driving a bit, eh? Yeah. If you want to support us, give us a like and subscribe. Yeah, that, that's the best way to support us is please. Cost you nothing. Yeah, it's free. Please like, subscribe, and if you can, share our videos. Um, yeah. We'd like to grow our little channel. Just one day, in this moment, in this moment, forever be. small